Guys, welcome to the channel, everyone on Twitch and when you watch on YouTube, thank you for watching. First game from this final loser bracket is Arabia, no restriction in civilizations. We know already what they're going to pick because there was previously a restart and this is, well, what map is it? You can see the map right here, guys, right here. Well, there you go, guys. There you go. Look at this lovely, lovely transition. Hope you like it. We have special transitions today for all the damn map. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Take a screenshot because it's going to be awesome. Beautiful. Hope you really like it. In another level, guys. In another level. And now Mongols facing who? Stark, Spanish. I really love my skin is exploding when I see your reaction, when I see your reaction, really, I love you guys and I love this damn game. Now, with Team Mongols facing a Spanish Stark, it's better positioned here by Team. He's taking the board already, in the other flank we have Mayans, perfect position now. Versus, whoa, versus Chinese, so pockets are Hans, what, 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 versus another Hans, Miguel, oh man. And his pennies to go. Whoa, man. We have in this right side, we have Mongols versus Spanish as a flank, and Spanish versus Mongols as a pocket. Hands, pocket as well. And then Chinese versus. Yeah, Chinese versus Mayans. Both his scouts are going. He's gonna try to kill the, the eagle, but they are not gonna get it. Not gonna get it. Well,. You miss it, guys, because you are absolutely noobs. And it's unbelievable. I have telling all the time, pay attention, but you didn't pay attention. Kuban, 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 unbelievable. Anyway, now focus. Remember this situation. I think in the flank is better for Mongols, but also in the pocket. Because Mongols' flank is very good. It's ideal situation. And Spanish as a pocket is great as well. Mongols is good, but they are always slower. We will see how they play. Mayans Chinese, well... Depend how the Chinese uh, start is, it can be dangerous as well. Miguel has a pocket. Someone was telling in the chat if Miguel pocket all in to uh oh uh oh it can be it can be it can be no it's gonna be fine all right but he didn't find the other the other ships no he's missing some ships there you go. Wop hands as well. Wop is in my opinion. Arabia play? Oh, come on, man. Come on. Look at the pressure. He almost lose a villager. He almost lose a villager. And... Whoa, man. Multi-ship. Not the best start. Not the best start. But... Yeah. Vivi. It has been... Sick player in this tournament. Let's see how Vivi is going to play. Because he's playing amazing. But he's facing Dogal. The thing with these players is... is it's easy and clear. They are extremely strong all. All. So, if someone Titanic here... When I say Titanic, guys, uh, I don't mean that they are playing necessarily bad. It's just that they don't play, you know, the best execution or not the best decision. Titanic is like a way to say it. I'm telling this because some YouTuber was telling, Oh, but when you use Titanic... But it's a way of talking. It's not necessarily that he's really playing bad, bad. Okay? Well, Tima is, is playing strong. Yeah, well, he's getting lucky more than playing strong. Those deer being close to the mill is fantastic. And Dogal can see it. So, yeah, perfect situation here for him. But you can see. You can see how Stark already, the pressure man, lost a villager. Vivi lost the scout. But it's worth it for losing a villager. I'm not sure. The scout is really important. Why? Because if we go to Vivi point of view, Fog of War... You can see now, he cannot push the deers at home either. Oh, but he doesn't have too far. He could go and take it. Yeah. Let's see if he's gonna do it. We will see. Let's put all visible because there, it's a 4v4. Complicated to casting. Complicated to follow all, everything. But I try. I try. Just check also the minimap as much as possible. This luring by team, at the end, he got perfect. Yeah, he was going to, to make a bad luring, but he didn't. Dogal is going as a pocket with the scouts. I always say, this can be this can be super strong, but also really, really risky. Let's see what blue 
Spanish VV is going to do. But maybe Green is going to come forward? I'm not sure. Stark, in my opinion, is more or is stronger as a boomer. And I don't see him going forward like uh, being a success. For farmers, is he going to go up? Oh, VV is going up too? No, he's not. I am with his point of view. He did the loom, he doesn't have the resources, he's gonna go standard. But they can expect that the Mongols is going, is going fast. Scout. Let's see team. Team has 21 population. Dogao is going up 19 population. Wow. Stark? No, Stark is, will go, it will go aggressive too. Probably militias. Exactly, he's mining gold. He will go militias and even possible to go towers. With 23 population, because he's gonna send the scouts and they will try to... Yeah, they will try to to go forward and maybe double him. Exactly, man, exactly. The speeding is there. Two, four, six villages. Ay, 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 man. Ay, ay, ay. Man, the stream quality is perfect. Of course, man. Of course. Thank you very much. We work it too, too much to get it top quality. Yeah, it can be really success because they are going to double. Definitely. So let's see what they are planning to do. But this is dangerous, it's always dangerous, because if they don't make the damage, then Vivi can be in a perfect position. In the other side, you can see how VH is a lamer boy, laming the goal forward, that he has a goal at the back, he does. He's doing the barrack in that position, now he wall on the left, and I want to focus here. I'm going to go to team point of view, because he needs to see him coming. If not, troubles. But he, see, he, can, he can see it, man. He can see it, the militias are coming, stable, and be careful, he's trying to come and make towers on the left, he's walling there, but it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work, this is going to be dangerous, he can see now the village is already, village is, he's doing a tower, fast tower, militia, sending village, one spear already, the spear is gonna do the job, this wood is of course going to be bye bye, but he has another at the back, so he's decent, decently okay, the bad, the bad thing from Stark is that he is it's low, it's low up, he's now doing the tower, that tower is just taking this wood, wasn't the best wood ever because there is an oasis, so it's not a big problem for our team, team can now take also that stone, and I think he should take it, yeah, we will see, he can see it now, yeah, he can see the tower, and he's going to scout, scout, spear, those villages are almost bye bye, he's gonna go mine stone, perfect, and Vivi, it's not completely well, but oh! Vivi is going to go conquistadors. Haha, <laughs> that's interesting. No, the next level. Well, you can see he's moving now to the left, and that's I'm not sure, but uh, not the best idea because he's wall, right? You can see the scouts. He's not completely wall. He really needs to be careful. I'm going to move to BB point of view, and he is going to be in danger if he's sending the scout inside. Where's the scout? Okay, on the wood. There you go, Vivi can see it. He can see the scout and he can see the next tower. There you go, tower for Vivi. Gonna make a tower, a counter tower? No. Put the village inside. Sloppy. Well, he has one. One scout almost bye bye, so he's not in a big... In a big problem. Little palisade. Market. We'll make the blacksmith. And uh, this is what I was talking. This can be... A really big deal. He's now doing the tower. He's gonna make it. He's just stopping him. He's mining a stone and he's safe. So, we can see the scouts are gone. Now, Dogal, yeah, he's gathering the resources, but he's gonna be slower to go up. Of course, then Vivi. Okay, he's walling that goal. Laming. But if Vivi's going up quick and make a castle, oh man. Vivi is on the way to Castle Age. On the way to Castle Age doing the damage. He's coming with the skirmishes. He's in a perfect position. We can see how double is stable by Wop. And Miguel will go probably double is stable as well. You got it there. The scout is coming. Look at that villager. And uh, he really needs to be careful. Because if he's doing a tower there, he will take the wood and the goal, everything. So I need to check Vivi point of view. Vivi point of view, he can see the villager here. He's doing the tower. All right. His house said he need to to take to mine more stone. He will send more villages probably, and the tower is there with two villages. But now maybe he's gonna make another own goal. I don't know. 
That's a lot of villies on stone, but be careful. Three villies on stone. You need to palisade. One. And now, and now it's sloppy, it's sloppy, it's sloppy. This cannot happen. Oh my god, really? I can't believe this is happening at this level in this kind of games that you don't palisade this. One villain down, he was completely safe till now. And now look at that tower he's doing. Come on, man. This is, this is, I'm sorry, fail and titanic by BB that has been playing the tournament great. Now, well, he's eating the eating the TC, but Vivi will, will have a tower, alright, no problem, but now he can't make, he can't make, what is this, man, yes, ay ay ay, well, that's big, big deal, because now he's gonna be in Castellage, not able to do anything, it's true that the scouts from team are there, and, well, Stark, one villain on goal, he can make some damage, not, not too much, but he's sending the scouts, is Dogao about to go up? Well, he is about to go up, definitely, and will be in a good position now. The Barak, the Obama, losing another villain. Unbelievable. I can't understand. I cannot understand how it's this happening, really. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see in the other side. Double Archie range and VH completely wall. Doing the house, taking those deers. And red now is okay. I mean, yellow is perfectly fine. He's completely walled, so he's gonna be super safe. Green still doing more towers. He should probably put the village in the tower. Uh, he didn't notice, and he's losing another village. A VB 28 villages. Dogal 32. He's now going up, but still, he's not even. Well, BB has done probably has been the best in the tournament, but now he's not playing good. At least not the first game. Yeah. It wasn't so complicated, man. It was just one tile and he lost a lot. A lot. Now the gal can go with double stable. Double stable and can do a lot of damage on team. Really. Because Vivi got nothing. No TC. No castle. No stable. No nothing. No nothing. He can make the castle soon. He might buy some resources. Exactly what he's doing. But still... He is with nothing, and Dogao will send military very soon to team, and that will be a big advantage. Definitely a big advantage for Brazil B. Ay ay ay. Well, Stark is is very good with the walls. Very very good with the walls. Okay, he's gonna kill that scout. His bloodless and plus one. Probably he's gonna kill one villager. Not anymore. Okay, that villager is almost bye bye. You need to be careful. You can see that the multitasking is not great. He's sending a still four villains chasing the scout. And he's still going. Wow. I don't know what he's doing. The reaction needs to be way, way faster. Well, he's doing the castle or now. But he is clearly behind. Now, you can see the archers, the knights. He's doing another archery range. Well, what? It's doing what? 46 population, Miguel 51. Well, these teams never say... It's over, man, because you don't know when this game is, is go over. Team is now on the way to Castellage, while Stark is on the way to nothing. He's killing also villages. He's doing another tower to the stone. So he's really playing great. Look at those villages on goal. Team exploring and moving great as well. Wow. Now he's walling a bit. He should wall a bit more. Or if he's killing this, he's gonna be in big trouble. Really. But I think now, Happy Happy will make a castle. Where? In that position? Probably. Probably. I'm going to Happy Happy point of view. No, he doesn't have a stone. I thought he has, but he, he don't have. Now he's doing a tower. And with the tower, probably he will be fine. If he's finishing the tower, then of course. Ay, ay, ay. Now he's gonna finish the tower, I think. Gonna be close, to be honest. Now he is finishing the tower. Then purple with this beautiful. I forgot to disable this, but well, for the hands, this is the new architecture. I think it's looking good, so not big deal. Yeah, you can see also for the other hands, it's looking nice. He's coming with the knights, Mongol. Is he going to palisade? He need to palisade. How? I don't know because the the wood here is not really great. Team. He has a stone to make a castle. This is what he's planning to do. This is what he's planning to do. He need to palisade the stone miners. Oh, come on. It's, it's easy to palisade the stone miners. He's killing now those. He's sending conquistadors. But the truth is that the Stark 
can be in big troubles. He's gonna be Feudalage forever. Forever! He's now losing some villiers, he lost two villiers, three villiers, he's gonna lose probably another one and another one. Ay 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 ay. Monastery! Monastery, those villiers idle. Why he didn't palisade himself? It was easy, but he didn't. They are not palisaded. And but in the in this wood, look at the houses he did. Whoa! But you need to pal to make another one. Oh man, oh man. Well he's sending the knight. He's gonna lose another. There is a hole. There you go. Beautiful hole. Be careful. And in the other side, where are the conks? Is he going with the conks? Wow. The conquistadors now can do the, the job. Wop and Miguel, really similar population. Miguel, it's with 63 villages. Wop, 63 as well. And yellow, that is in Castle Age already. VH2, 71 pop 73 population VH, yellow 45. 45, more villages, zero army, and VH, 30 military. What can happen with that? That they go double to WAP. They go double. He's doing a castle. That castle is gonna be huge. He's gonna take that tower, definitely. But if they go double with the knights and the crossbows to the pocket, WAP, WAP, WAP will be in big trouble. In really big troubles. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know if he should send the Kongs. Well, he's going there with the Conquistadors. Those Kongs are gonna deal properly with the Camels. Camels and Knights. And what is team going to do? A castle there, right? He's taking, he's doing a castle in front of the main goal. He will take that tower and he will be completely fine. There you go. He got the, the Knights and uh, team 48 population, 57. But the problem for China is clear. Both pockets seems to be in a strong position. You can see the archers. The archers coming. He was doing another stable. Those knights are bloodlines and plus one. While Miguel, bloodline plus two and plus one. He really need to send it back. Oh man, this double can be huge. I don't know if he's gonna send now blue marchers or what it's going to be. But they are. They are playing really aggressive. The advantage is absolutely there for Brazil. They need to take this game. Well, they seem to have a huge advantage. Now killing villages, 74 villages. The boom incoming was, was strong. Is really strong. From Wop, even losing some villages, he's only two villages behind. Now he needs to go back, it's knights versus knights and archers, but he's sending a lot more knights. So, is he gonna be able to take it? He's also converting, he can take both. If he's taking two versus one, this can be huge for China. And it's possible, he has the plus two and a lot of knights. And he's taking all Miguel knights, so he's gonna kill absolutely everything. Wop, it is or not? It's gonna be complicated, it's really complicated, it's two versus one, ay ay ay, in the other side you can, oh my god, Bibi, 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 Bibi going forward, Siege Wars of Sending Monks and Conquistador, this is starting to be heavy and huge, 64 population, they know that they have to push, if they don't push, nothing, but he didn't wall himself the villain with the Siege Wars of, whoa man, this is looking bad, this is looking really really bad, but the score? It's not a big difference. Why? Stark still in feudal age. He's still in feudal age. But Dogao 72 villages, Miguel 82 villages is strong. But even like that, look at the push they are doing. 82 villages from Wob. He's booming like crazy, doing another tone center, but he has no army and oath to defend. Where is Yellow going? He's sending a Mangoral and Plume marches. This is so damn complicated here. Really complicated, he's losing. Kill him. Stables and Miguel has right now 110 population. 110 population. They are not slinging. Stark is now on the way to Castellage. And the advantage is absolutely there. There because they are pushing the pockets. And the other pockets, not a single problem. To Miguel or to Dogao. Oh good. Well, he's now with Conquistadors. And very nice micro. Plus two and bloodlines. Conquistadors are huge. So let's see what team can do. Team is only 56 villages. Way ahead. Way ahead with with Stark. So maybe they should go and make the damage to Stark. Now the blue marches are happening. He's there with 76 population, 63 villages. Better booming coming. The blue marches plus two. Now knights and the mangonel. Okay. They are trying to come back from the hell. And they can come back from the hell. Because Wop is still in a really good position with 85 villages after all that raiding. They are taking now down all the knights. And with the blue marches will take also the crossbows. Whoa. Damn. Really damn it. Those blue matches are huge. Let's see if now Happy Happy can can recover 
and now with those knights and blue marches they are back and you can see the population yes brazil all over 100 population teal red and gray but what happened with green remember this is a 4v4 we need to see what is gonna happen 44 villages so damn behind he's now in castellage and he got nothing he tried to disturb and he did some good blaming here he's, he's gonna kill the tower well we will see he need to put some villages inside the tower is killing that kong but they recover man they recover in the other side but the problem is clear absolutely clear what 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 with 110 population it's not going up while miguel with the hands and with the power of the hands he's on the way to imperial and he can go cavaliers in no time and make the huge damage with the hands they are not wall this is all absolutely open so if what is not reaching imperial soon it will be big troubles very really really big troubles bibi 80 population and Dogao 125 it's true that Dogao is coming with a lot of camels 100 villages but team is also recovering and he will boom like crazy like he usually does okay look at the walls they are doing annoying Stark but those walls can be killed pretty fast let's check everyone else team is not going up happy happy is about to go up to Imperial Vivi far Dogao clicking up to Imperial too and pockets going to to imperial is really really big advantage vh on the way to imperial wow start on the way to nothing and whoop 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 is getting closer but now with a lot of knights he's trying to raid trying to kill some villages oh man oh man okay let's see Be careful now the knights 140 population i insist they need to push because if miguel is coming dangerous but now they are doing an amazing job why because bb knows that miguel is in a huge position look at the score he's there with the conquistador they are trying to push on gray but yellow is on the way to imperial blue marches well mayans versus china look at the castle he was going to make on his face but he regret that decision and he's coming back okay okay look at the castle and he's gonna be there really soon we will see what it's on the way to imperial on the way to imperial camels conquistadors and team is on the way to imperial as well whoa the game is not over let's see the mongols but Dogao is going up too. Dogao with 120 villages, team 87. That's the biggest difference here. You know, look at the university. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. There is so much going on during all the minimap. You see, guys, it's almost impossible to follow everything. But those Kongs are doing a lot of damage. Now, Yellow has a lot of blue marchers. A lot of blue marchers. Is he going to go only blue marchers? He should go halberdiers as fast as he as possible a lot of times we see that that the helps are coming a bit late now bb lost another tc in my opinion if bb didn't titanic a bit in the, in the start wow this would be completely different but still the game keep going these chinese are not going to give up absolutely not the advantage is there but for how much brazil b has a big advantage cavaliers plus two plus four man Cavaliers plus two plus four. Walling. Another castle. Blue marches and another castle. This is good, but dangerous at the same time. Because if they lose the forward castles, can be big problems. Right now, you can see how Wop is going to be there with 160 population, 131 villages. More or even the same than Miguel. Same amount of army and he's still ready, man. He is still ready. He's there with a village forward? Are you for real? yeah man he's there man he wants to sneak a value forward to raid everything probably and now whoop it's raiding his economy that's really great the conquistadors are fantastic miguel is doing the paladin upgrade the guy is doing the magodais elite magodais he's gonna take a castle on top of that hill but not now because the conks are there he can lose a lot of villages and be careful because because everyone else is trying to recover only vivi you can see how bibi got troubles bb bb is not up to imperial yet that's really bad he's now doing some buildings trying to protect the castles a lot of blue marches elite blue marches missing 
upgrades is Cavaliers. This is gonna be so bad because Purple is trying to raid, but where is Purple on yellow? He's not there, man. He's not there. You need to cover. They are killing all here. They are killing absolutely everything in this spot. Brazil is absolutely taking the game. Well, the Mayans is not the best civilization to counter Paladins and Arbalest and Siege Rams together. And even more, if you don't have walls, if you don't have halves, what the hell he can do? Not even pressure. He didn't make the plus three. Oh man, oh man. Big advantage here, big advantage. What Paladin upgrade? Sending now the Paladins, well, it's Cavaliers. He should be careful and go back. He should wall and take a bit of time. He's doing another castle. But Yellow is at the very limit. No army at all. No army at all. He's gonna get drained. Where is Purple? Purple is not going. There is not a hole. He need to kill the Trebuchet and then come back and kill the Siege Rams. I don't know. He's getting destroyed. Getting destroyed by Miguel and VH. But destroyed, really. Okay, the Trebuchet is going to be down. At least he can hold a, a little more. While in the other side, still in Castle HBV, it's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable that he is still with a good population, okay, but in Castle H. Wow. Now, this is good amount of Cavaliers, almost Paladins. Plus one is still only, plus four. He's killing the castle with the siege rams and now migration. He need to move all the villages, but yellow is in a terrible position. Orange team is now pushing, pushing Stark and he can push Stark. Why? Because he has elite wagon dice. Stark is in castle age as well. So Dogal need to go now to Orange, probably. Let's see, man, let's see what they can do. Because the Palins from Miguel are raiding absolutely everything. Stark is now on the way to Imperial, but the Stark is flank. They have Vivi as a pocket, yet in Castellage, man. Crazy. Crazy stuff going on. Miguel gonna raid everything. Wop is there with the Paladins, but Miguel has more. 192 population. No, he has 61 Paladins. Well, Wop, 35. First game is beating total domination. Wow. Unbelievable performance here by Brazil B. Really taking the game clearly. Well, let's see. Because maybe now they are going to come back from the hell. Complicated. The Stark 99 population. Is he pushing? Well, not so much army. Is he sending army to the other side? He can't. He's doing castles. They are not giving up. It's impressive how these guys hold with, with really so little little resources and possibilities to, to to come back but let's see bb knights plus one knights only now some magunda is there is a lead magunda is fully armored is not a lot but he has 49 army let's go to the gal point of view go with the military where the where the magunda is killing all the magunda is all the magunda is from team it's crazy he's there with one trap and four magunda is Team now, good amount of villages. 104, but Togal 140, 54 army. In a way better position. And now Paladins, Magodice, they didn't wall. Wow. Yeah, team has no army at all. Now Wop is there with good amount of Paladins. But Miguel, Miguel, 65. 65, man. It's, it's way big difference, man. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Just check exactly that. Radio killed by Miguel. And Dogal, Miguel 146, 86. Well, what the other hand's pocket is just the opposite, of course. Dogal 114, 53 is crazy. Crazy. He opened the walls there. He's going with the Magon Dice, trying to raid some to Orange. And here, in the other side, Yellow is trying to recover. He's trying. Remember that the Mayans doesn't need so much resources. And for that reason, they are trying to hold. They feel that the other has some good population. But team is in problem. Is in problem. Is in problem. Okay. Let's see. Going with those. They're killing the castle. I think he's no. He's not gonna kill. And he's coming. He's coming to kill with with the Magoda. It's perfectly fine. He's there also going to raid. Now the advantage is huge. It's absolutely huge. They will call the GG in, in, in uh, any second. I don't know. Well, Purple is now chasing Paladins here. But they are raiding all over the map. Raiding all over the map. They have team 75 population. This is total domination. Total domination by Brazil. Really. You can see how Dogao now and Miguel 
both pockets with 200 population. Sadly, guys, Vidi has been the MVP from from China Franti, but today, yeah, he failed it, man. He failed it. The strategy worked out in the last second. The score difference is like 3,000, and the first game is is for, for Brazil, man. Definitely. Yeah, 61 Palanis. Wop has now good amount of Palanis, but Miguel is still getting more and more. 70. 70 Paladins. Yes! BB Cavaliers. Stark is, Stark is now doing Paladin upgrade. Paladin upgrade. Sending resources to Stark. He's doing the market, so yeah, it's, it's, it's total destruction. They are not they are not resigning because BB now. Nah, BB is 110 population. He's getting raided, man. He's getting raided completely, 90 villages, it's, it's destruction, total destruction, really. Well, they don't resign because Purple got a lot of Paladins. Yes, maybe they can hold here for a while, uh, and Yellow has good amount of army. Orange? Orange got the Skirmishers. Team got the Skirmishers. Well, Green is going to come now with Paladins. So you can imagine what the Stark is going to do now with the Paladins versus the Skirmishers from Team. Ay, 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 ay. And they have Magundice here. They have no trade. While well, the oldest 24, 12, 21, and what? Only 12 trade card, man. It's, it's, it's impossible, man. It's really damn impossible. Ah, he's doing Bombard Towers. Look at those Paladins here. I think he has a lot of Paladins. He needs to go back. Probably he has Bombard Towers. Blue Marchers, Skirmishers. They are pushing. I know that this super important game but at this point 4000 score difference with that low population for everyone i don't know why they don't resign even the gal is going to the left even the gal is going to the left to kill everything man one delay down two down three down four down killing all and the gg call gg call guys whoa they are calling the gg in brazil we really dominate big time this one big time wow i will check we will check together the achievements because it's it's destruction guys it's total destruction achievements military you can see the guy with 268 unit kills largest army 59 miguel 78 largest army 78 largest army the, the difference with the pockets was huge vv 24 WAP 69, but 177, 252 unit loss. Yeah, the pockets make the make the game here. He BB, yeah, he lost the game when he let uh, Dogawa scouts make the damage. Definitely, and in the timeline, you can see how a VB was 45 minutes in PDL time. Impossible, guys. Impossible. This is guys the first game for Brazil B. Now migration. This is starting with. A map that is so damn complicated and non-standard migration. Are you ready to to see this map? Look, look at there because it's going to explode. But you're going to see the migration map in your face. You know, guys. Yes, in your face. Do you know what I mean? Now you know. Stay tuned. Well. This is the way to go, guys. This is the absolutely way to go. It's fantastic. This is migration map. Brazil B versus China Frantic. So, let's see how it's going to be now the map. Hans, Persians, Byzantines, and Mayans. Persian, Persians, Britons, Mayans, and Hans. This is absolutely fantastic. Hope you really like it. The spirit is gonna end. This is only, only the start. In mind what is going to be what is going to be for the king of the hill? They have Byzantines, yes. Why they pick Byzantines? They have something prepared. Probably some fast imperial with the Byzantines. It's a surprise. Definitely a surprise that they pick this civilization. Hans flank. Byzantines on the other flank too. Facing Miguel. Miguel, super top player on water map. But Byzantines now is flank. Ay, 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 ay. Pocket. Orange. BB Persians. And. Mayas Jeffrey. The other pockets are Persians Dogao as well. And Britons. 
Well, they have Britons also, which is a surprise too, if you ask me. But they maybe feel comfortable. I don't know, man. You never know, man. Okay. Let's see. You can put in those transitions some music, but uh, it depends. It depends. It can be good with with some music. Uh, we will see. Anyway, going for going for this. Uh, this map, remember, is with six 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 ships, no boars. So hmm. Well, poor Pagon, we didn't try. We didn't try him since I put uh, 16, uh, 16 gigabyte uh, more RAM to the computer. So probably it was because it, it, the computer was at the limit. I told you uh, someday that I think with uh, now updated the computer with more RAM might work properly. But we can we can uh, check this for for future for the in the future. No, it's it's getting better and better. So <laughs> no problem. Important, really important, really important. The deers, you have to push them with the with the scout because here, the build order is completely different. You can see how they have five villages. The little main islands is is a small, and if you lose a water control, you are exposed completely. The mainland, the big island, you you see, it's really really bigger than in the standard migration. Why I say a standard migration? This is a standard, but they make some custom map. So, we will see guys, we will see. Anyway, we can see VH, he's getting pushed the deers under the TC, okay. And, there you go. Miguel, facing who? Facing WAP, peace and things. And Divi is ahead already, look at Divi start. With Persians, yeah, man, 18 population. He's ahead to everyone else, which is very nice. But uh, in these maps, till till we get, till we get the um, feudal age, you know, we basic basically say it already everything. What is the possibilities with Byzantines? Well, we can check Byzantine civilization, right? That uh, we probably all know what is the most important here. They are going to go up to Imperial with 30, 30% or 33%. Let me open this full. 33% less resources. Fire ships plus 20% attack. So you can see, man. They have something. They have something in Castellit. But he's, he's a flank. So I don't know, man. I really don't know. We will see. We will see what, what we can see with uh, that civilization and what the strategy they pick. Maybe they go a slink, it's possible. So keep an eye. He's doing the loom now and he's going forward dog. Well, Stark got lucky, man. He did the dog here and look at the deep fish, really close. Lucky him. Okay. Oh, Tim is not doing any billy anymore. He wants to go up right away. No, I think it's not a bad choice. Just remember something, Sharky. With this, these games are super important. They might study properly this. But the thing is, and I'm going now to Wob, who took the Visantis, is a player that, in my opinion, is not a great player in the water maps. Is Wob. And uh, he has right now purple on the way to Feudal Age. For that reason, Blue did the dock at the back, but he is still not even up. He's doing now the loom, and be careful, man. Let's see. Wow, so many abilities on foot here. Wow, look at this. Yeah, he's not, he's not doing any other village here. And with 26 population, two villages more than Miguel, and yeah, that's it. He want to go up, and he's up, but. He's slower 1 minute and 30 seconds. 1 minute and 30 seconds. In 1 minute and 30 seconds, he ha have, he can get troubles. He can get raided here. He can also go to the fishing ship. So let's see what he's planning to do. Going to mine goal. All his resources are... All his resources are, are exposed and dangerous, man. Well, I wouldn't say that he's really bad, but I think he's really not... 
his best map. Yeah, it's not his best map. Anyway, going to team. Team in Feudal Age. Right, the Stark in Feudal Age 2. He has two dogs and uh, let's see. Yeah, really bad, man. Really bad goal. Whoop. Going to be in Feudal Age soon. But in the meanwhile, three dogs, man. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. He would be in trouble. Yeah, definitely. He probably need a tower there. Otherwise, he's completely exposed, man. He's doing the third dog. And he's sending the galleys already. While the pockets, Vivian Jeffrey is still Dark Age. Definitely. And Fiat and Dugal too. Didn't click up. Alright. Okay, he's not finding. That's really important too. Has three dogs faster than, than Stark. Teams will have the advantage here, definitely. And the galley's out there. He's moving now the fishing ships. He's gonna move. Is he moving or not? No, he's not. Has three dogs. But he's there with the, with three galleys already. Oh my god. He's starting to lose the fishing ships. And the problem is if he's going also to Vivi, to the pocket. That can be terrible. Now losing the fish. Oh my god. The, like this, super fast, two lost already. Why he didn't go away, man? I don't understand. Unbelievable. Here he has more and more galleys. How many? Okay, five galleys. And he's raiding also the Lambrex and the gold miners. Like I say, this map is so dangerous. He's now hidden here, not letting him take everything or anything. And with the galley, but he has four. You see, it's lower and he's still behind. Oh, man. And he's not... Now he's adding another. So, what food he has? The berries. It will be idle to see for a while. Damn. He's already in trouble. He has 10 population behind with Miguel with 4 dogs. Wow. And he's going now to Vivi. This is gonna be painful to watch. Because... Brazil is taking a huge advantage already. He lost a ability, he did the tower. Wow. He has spent already a lot, but the fishing ships to Vivi? He has huge population, yes. But Dogao has as well, and not tr a trouble at home. He has start with a lot of galleys, team as well. He need to move and move it, the Lambriax. And now, look at Dwarf, man, wow. What the hell? Not only this, he's also losing all the galleys here. Really, man, this is not looking good. Absolutely looking so damn bad, in my opinion now. Wow. Yeah, man, fishing ships is still VB20. There's a lot of fishing ships. He's going around with four galleys. Is he gonna make galleys as well? Probably the gal is on the way to Castellet. And Jeffrey paid 14 gold and 24 foot to WAP. Awesome! With that food, with those resources, he can go fast to Imperial. But with 69% less resources. Are you for real, man? That's crazy. Well, Miguel gonna have the fletching. Team is on the way to Castellage. Fitch is sending some resources to Miguel too. Okay. Jeffrey now is paying more, but it's, it's nothing, man. Those are no resources at all. Wow, he's in big troubles. He has four dogs now. He's trying to push. Well, finally now, he's with more galleys, nine galleys. Miguel is coming. He has more and more galleys now. He's gonna take it. Well, he need to get all together. But he's now taking some good fight. He need to go to, to the middle. And like this, maybe it's gonna work. But Purple is also there with galleys. Orange is now defending. But the problem is that Vivi is not going up. And probably that was the idea. Oh my god, finally... He's now going to go up to Castellage. Yes. Look at Wop with the damage link. Oh, come on. No buildings. Really? Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Let's go to Miguel. Miguel point of view. He's gathering the resources. He still have more galleys. He's still getting the map control. He's coming with more and more galleys. Wop with gold mining, fletching. And Dugal is going land. He's going land while Vivi... He's doing what? Going water? It's not going to the land? Land is, is, seems to be important in this map, really. But we will see. Now Wob is on the way to Castellage. Vivi, let's check all the resources. We can see Vivi and Jeffrey 
are slinging, man, to team and to warp. So both flanks are going to dominate probably on water. We will see, because if they get the water control, be careful, man. They can take all the fishing ships to, to the pocket, to Dogao and VH. And VH is in Feudal Age. Also, slinging as well. Okay. Let's see if I can change this. Sometimes it's going cuckoo. Yeah, there you go. You can see now Bibi with some galleys too. Wop with galleys as well. So is he gonna be able to kill both? Seems so. Miguel has right now the same amount of army than both together. So he's going to take both down. Why? Because even Bibi has no fletching. Are you for real? Well, this is for real. He's taking down two players from China frantic. Really, this is absolutely total domination? Wow, and yellow, Geoffrey, it's wanting here to take some resources, but it's not gonna happen. This is terrible. What's going on, China frantic? This is the game that you need to go to China land party. And this is for now looking so damn bad, man. I don't know if they are going to be able to recover, but it's looking so bad. Dogao is taking the middle. He's taking completely the middle. Definitely, man. I don't know if he's GG. But it's looking so damn good. Population is still not big, big, big difference. There is some difference. But WAP is super behind. Gonna be in Castle H, But Purple Miguel gonna be in Castle H as well. I don't know what's going on here. Well, WAP is now doing the Botkin Arrow. Botkin Arrow gonna go... Let's go and check. Resources. Gonna go War Galleys. And let's see if, if they are going to, to keep it slinging. But now Purple is taking everything, man. Miguel is, is just destroying everything. Miguel is destroying. He has destroyed Wop. Now he's destroying Vivi. Dogao, it's free boom to, to go to the middle and take absolutely everything. He's trying to wall, but the knights are there. This is absolutely terrible for China Frantic. But let's see. He's now going with the galleys behind. Well, chasing all orange. All orange. Doing the cartography. He's in Castle Age. But the population, it's now huge difference. Really. Military, a lot more. And the fishing ships is crazy. Geoffrey is gonna now lose everything. Well, he's in feudal age and gonna lose, gonna start to lose all the fishing ships. Oh man. Now he was trying to wall. Why? Because he want to take those resources. This corner is very good, but Togao is siege wars up to, to kill the walls because there's nothing else. Damn. And here, now he's going. War Galley, Botkin Arrow, and Miguel need to go to go back. Miguel still have more army, man. He has 26. 26, man. Well, it seems so. It seems so because if we check now in the other side, Stark, Stark is winning as well. With 19 army, 13 team, Stark will dominate. They have the land. This is total, total GG, man. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. This is impossible. The Jeffrey, the player in Feudal Age is top score in China Frantic. So you can imagine what that means. That means that, uh, well, Bibi now doing a tone center, but he has a Siege Wars of going with three villages. He's trying to go there. A skill Barding Armor. That he has a Barak, Bibi. He's doing Skill Barding Armor, but aha, he has. And now he's doing few camels. Okay. Okay, he got a stable and a barrack. That's something. Now trying to make the tone center here. But the gal has right now 100. 100 almost population. 97 actually. Stark on the way to Imperial. Wop on the way to Imperial. But Wop is on the way to Imperial with 57 population. Maybe doing fast fires if he can go and make the damage. But otherwise, I don't see what he can do. He's still 33 villages only. Stark 39. So he's 6 villages different. And the VH is slinging. Still is slinging as well. Jeffrey sent resources to team. But team, it's getting wrecked. Basically. Stark 22 army. Team 11. 11 army. Double the military. Dogao is on the way to Imperial. Wow. Well, I don't know what to say. Because the advantage is, is really too big. In those first two games is really really too big let's see now the camel going to take down that mangonel and uh, well two four six camels yeah it seems that this this is getting closer and closer to the next game
Two, four, six camels, and now. Oh, be careful. Well, Fiat is halfway to Castle H, while Dogao is almost in Imperial. That's the way to go, man. That's really the way to go. Dogao is also with a huge population. Huge population, really. Well, now Team seems to be getting uh, a Stark. Stark has finally 15 army only, and Team 18, so even if he's in Imperial, gonna make the Galleon upgrade. Would be probably with really little army, and that's that's good for Tim. But who's going to stop the gal? The camel from BB? He has good population, but Wop is in Imperial with 55 population and doing what? Wop is doing galleons. Okay, gonna be able with galleons to kill Purple? To kill Miguel? I don't know. I don't think so. Or he will. Well, Miguel 29 army. Wop. 26 and gonna be galleons then he will take it but who who will stop him on on the land he's doing heavy camels and chain barden well we'll do all the upgrades chain barden armor one two tone centers many stables like you can see miguel doing the that tone center as well he's expanding while blue is still here on his little base with nothing no resources and with jeffrey fuel H sending everything 56 villages dogao 76 Billy is 25 fishing ships. That's crazy, man. That's really crazy. No, he keeps trying to come. He converted another one. But the difference in population is, is brutal, man. He's now with the castle there. Two plies in Imperial. Only Wap in Imperial. Carrying in the, for VH. Okay. Uh, team is doing the cartography. It's not much more useful because if you sling earlier, you make the damage. If you wait, maybe the sling is not gonna be in time, and for that reason, they they do as fa as fast as possible. They got 141 population. This is absolutely total domination. Absolutely. Total domination. Yeah, he's taking man. Well, because in Castle Age you can go more more tone center, so you can gather more resources. While in Fuel you are limited, you will have only one TC, so the, your production is gonna be slower. For that reason, China are trying. They are trying, but how? That's the problem. How they are calling the GG man. GG call, GG call, this is 2-0, wow, oh, well, we have seen some series like this, but we hope so, we hope so that this is not going to, to, to be like this all the series, because this can be really, really dominant, really destruction for, for China Frantic, let's go and check the achievements, and uh, this is the 2-0, 2-0 already, really clear, and uh, well, WAP with 30 military but 40 villages, I don't know. Dogao was booming and controlling all the middle. WAP was the most slinging, but he did nothing. He got destroyed. Actually, Jeffrey did a huge, huge sling to, just to, to be feudal sling. It's really, really nice. So, big problems, big problems for China. For now, the domination is there. Brazil B2, China Frank T T T zero going for the next game. Wow. Well, with another subscriber, really appreciate it. We have now the third game, which is Land Nomad. Land Nomad definitely going to be way better. So if you want to enjoy with a land, fantastic map without TC, it at the start, stay absolutely tunis and go, go, go. Vamos, amigos. This is the fantastic land nomad. Beautiful, beautiful these transitions. Hope you enjoy. Mongols, China, Spanish and Mayans. Spanish, Persians, Chinese and Mayans. So what they sacrifice? They don't have Persians. They go with the Mongols. I don't know, man. I really don't know. But uh, it's 
complicated, man. It's really complicated. I don't like this choice, but let's see how team is going to play with the Mongols. With uh, with Persians, I think getting two Palani civilizations is fantastic. Also, Persians start with with more resources, so you will get the TC up faster. The Mongols is a slower civilization, but it's true that also if you get a good hunt, you can go for. Look at the Lambert camp he's doing. Well, he's gonna take some ships. He can see that boar. He will see the boar soon. But he's, mm, let's check more his spot. Okay, he has the boars at the back. He's gonna find it. Yeah, he's finding. He's fine then. He's fine, definitely. Let's go to all point of view. We can see now Orange is happy, happy. He has one, two boars. He can see the deers and that boar as well. With China, you need a lot of damn resources to make the real damage. Then VV. VV that sadly has zero resources and uh, he need he need ships. The ships are there and well he has a lot of deers. The boar ships as well. Boar at the back, but he didn't find anything yet. Anything. And BB it's really close to Dogal. Dogal, super close to him with deers. Deers almost in the town center. Oh my god. Oh my god. This can be painful for BB if he's not exploring properly. Let's see what BB is going to do. Where he's gonna make the town center. The deers are not really far, but right now they are so close. I don't see the the boards. Well, one board in the north. BB, now he's exploring. He really needs to explore or he will be in terrible problems. Wow, look at this, look at this, look at this. Damn it, I will check soon his point of view, but he's in big troubles in my opinion. Big troubles. You can see Fitch with the berries and Spanish. He's speaking Spanish, not Chinese here. Chinese is Stark and that's a surprise. Hmm, I don't remember. VH speaking Spanish. He usually picks Chinese as well. Dogal. Dogal we saw that he is in a very good spot. He's close to the other guy, but with good resources and Persians. Top civilization. He's taking the wood to make a house. Stark. It's with one boar already in the bank. Okay. Exploring what, another boar. Well, he has a lot of boars. And Jeffrey. Jeffrey is the last one, I think, and he has ships, and for now, nothing else. This is looking so bad for China, so bad for China, definitely so bad. We can see now Bibi, I'm going to Bibi point of view, and uh, well, he can see the board, he's going to take the board, oh my god, oh the book, <laughs> unbelievable oh, man. Thank you for the subscription, Mr. Horror Duke. Long time, no long time from from BF, from Black Forest. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscription. Really appreciate it. Patao in the house too. Gonna take the board. Now you can spawn the best emotes into each. Horror Duke. Okay, he's taking the board and he's going down. He's going back with the board. Yeah, it's it's up actually, but. Uh, I still think that the start is bad, and guys, guys, I say the Mongols, look at team population with Mongols, five population, five villages already, because Mongols is the only civilization here that has no bonus for the start, no more resources like Persians, no Spanish villages that that make the TC faster. No Mayans with four villages or no Chinese with six villages. Mongols is slow and dangerous and he is already behind, like you can see. Is Yellow going to explore more and more? Well, Maya's resources last longer, but if you don't find, well, the ports are there. Come on, Jeffrey. Do you need to make s some good exploration or kind of be terrible, man? Look at it, you need to spy. Oh, come on. You need a spy. He can see now one boar. He's going and probably he's gonna find by luck the other boars. Alright. Tangerous, man. Tangerous. Anyway, 
What is Vivi doing? Aha, he founded another one. Okay. That's all right, but still. Team, what he's planning to do? Scouts, he's gonna take the boards. The good thing with the Mongols is that you gather the food super quick and that can change everything. But this spot is probably the most important now. Purple and teal, I think so. They are so damn close. Angela White and Danny Daniels? <laughs> what you talking? Oh my god. That Luthi doing a house. Are they willing? No. Taking the mill. Look at Stark. A lot of food here. Yeah. Well, Happy Happy is, is all right. One, two, three boars and a lot of ships. And he's not finding those three. He's gonna make a mill and take those deers. Mongol has the loom. He definitely has. Probably he got the boars far. And for that he did. What's up, Keeper? How you doing, everyone? Thank you for joining. And hopefully you will join with these cities that we need that they get closer. Closer! The best cities are those ones with 4-3, man. Well, you can see how team is still still behind with 13 population. What the hell? That's crazy. It's three villages behind that that the next one. Even four now with Jeffrey. Damn it. Uh, Jeffrey did here a mill. It's fine. It's completely fine. And now Bibi made the mill too, so he's alright. But I guess that the gal we have very good economy. Oh! The laming is real, man. For Bibi. Yeah, Bibi is laming him all the deers. There you go. He has no loom. Attack, man. Attack. He has no loom. Attack. He has no loom. Attack. I mean, did I say attack? What the hell? Attack the damn villager. Boy, you didn't notice that he has no loom. This is get on my nerves. Attack. 14. Damn it. Well, I don't understand this. Now, finally, he put my stream and he's attacking. Going to the hell, man. Yeah, now he's going back, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink water because I get hungry, man. They, they are sleeping today. What the hell? 67%? I'm not sure about that. Damn. Team is on the way to feudalize. This is expected with the Mongols as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Okay. He will go scouts. Where? Wow. Do you think he explore? Damn. He has explore like crazy, man. Like crazy. He should he should know where is everything. But it's true that he will have a lot of food. Ah, oh, come on. Multi multi deers. He's gonna make. The Barak, the Obama, super forward. Love it. Okay, I see. I like this. The Barak is in the middle of the map. Gonna be really, really forward with two villages. It's nice. Just go a scout. They are walling. And they will be wall. It seems so, man. Miguel is with the Mayans. Which is usually not his, his best civilization. And now he's sending back all the villages. Unbelievable, man. Did he notice? For some reason. Uh, he's gonna palisade probably here, but... I don't know how he knows that... That... That he was close. I don't get it. Really. I don't get it really. Here is a hole. I mean, this is a hole. Or not. No! No, no, no. I think it's not a hole. Uh, let me check. Guys, we need to zoom. Okay. Is there a hole? Look. Look at the tree. Where is the tile? And look at the berries. It's unbelievable, but it's not a hole. Damn. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, absolutely. Yeah, and now it's a pause. Damn. No hole. There's no hole. It's a pause, guys. It's a pause. Or it seems so. I don't know. The game now keep going. There was a little hole there. Wall in all. Team walls. Damn it. Well, he's with the scouts. 
and now the scout's gonna do absolutely nothing. Going to team point of view, I will do one scout, no more. Is he mining gold? Hmm. Good, but yeah, good man. I mean, Stark a hole. He's a top bowler, man. You are right, man. It's my bad. It's really my bad. Now team is starting to stonewall. Yeah. Now they're with the scouts. Let's see if he explore and a tower here would be great. Okay. I think Miguel didn't wall one tile. Uh, I think he's walled completely. But we will see, they are up to Castle H. It's true that with those resources, he will go up to Castle H really soon. But still, Mongols will be slow. Look at the tower. That tower is an amazing tower. I mean, maybe in Imperial, he's gonna reach those Lambrayaks. Right? Yeah, I think so. That tower is, is, is really close. Damn. Don't know what happened today, Vivi. Today's the day, man. You have to play today. Awesome. Now he did the tower there. And maybe we'll come the castle here. It's possible. They still open. This is a really big gap. But the other players are walling everything. All the gaps. Walling absolutely everything. The scout from Stark is there. And there will be knights. Why? Because he's fast. He's fast, really fast, but he's as fast as Happy Happy, Frantic ZL Orange, with Chinese too. Both exactly the same 28 villages. Happy Happy, but Stark 26, exactly the same time, but not in villages. So, Orange, with a very good start, really good start. While Grey is fantastic world. He's walling beautiful, amazing, fantastic. All the map, yes, except this. Big gap, you wall all the map, but this is open. Unbelievable and unpredictable. Look at that monastery, yes. Monastery to be in troubles. Now he's going with villages to where? Dangerous, man. No stone. He's gonna buy the... He need more, man. Dangerous, man. Dangerous. He's coming with the camel, Vivi's going to be in Castle Age. He's gonna buy the stone, probably he would make the castle here. I, I think so. Yeah, he's gonna buy the stone. Buy a stone and make the castle here. Or, or, or here, he's gonna make it super forward? No, he's gonna go safe mode. Or he would go crazy. I don't know. He's going safe mode. If you go crazy, it's, it's impossible. What is Orange going to do? Is he booming? No, he's pushing. And this is the way to go. Double monastery siege. Then team can go aggressive. But we will have people booming? Not really. VH. Wow. Miguel, how many villages on goal? What is this? Miguel? Is that in... Fast Imperial, expected. So gonna be a sling. VH is slinging with the Spanish. Expected, you see guys. <laughs> they are slinging to the Mayans. Slinging to the Mayans is the way to go. Whoa! Double stone walls. And now here, they are inside. Inside with one villager. Gonna kill the monk. Gonna kill the scout. He's coming with the rams. He's gonna go up to Imperial, will send blue marches, but they didn't wall in the middle. And that's the worst can happen here to Tim, because the raiding with the blue marches is gonna be real. But we will see very soon. You can see now Tim with the scouts. The camels are coming and they can do the damage. Conquistadors. So they are going now fully aggressive. This is the way to go. This is really the way to go. He's there with one village. Oh, really low HP. Go and convert. The Rams is coming and he's gonna kill the Barak, the Obama. But Miguel should go up soon. We will see. Let me remove this. He's slinging big time. It's now coming with the blue marchers. You need to be careful. Let's see if he's gonna micro those blue marchers. 
Better say the monks against the blue marchers. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. You need to convert, man. Don't convert villiers. The blue marchers are coming, man. He convert one villier, and now the blue march is gonna make the damage. Well, Happy Happy was doing a really great job, but now he's gonna lose villiers, monks, and everything. He's got, he convert one blue marcher, but losing all the damn monks. That's bad. Not a single mangonel. But now, Miguel, that is still getting resources, is not up to Imperial. Why? Because this link with this, with this uh, mod is bad. But Stark is here with camels and monks as well. He has the castle, he has the mangonel, he's going to convert the scout, but he's trying to kill. He's trying to kill the monks with. There you go, he convert one, but he can kill also something. The monks are happening, but the conks as well, and he got it. Mangonel. Trying to push now to Dogao. Dogao is really good on the booming. She can listen all the time this link. Bam, bam, bam. It's link, it's link, it's link. Okay. There you go. And he's killing villains now to Dogao. Got it. And with the mangonel, we go to the TC. Remember, that TC is Persian Stone Center. Miguel! On the way to Imperial. On the way to Imperial, but they are inside. Being inside is complicated because if they go raid, they can kill absolutely everything. You can see that the performance with Miguel, really is on goal, is not the greatest. And here they are pushing. Yeah, and killing with. Got it. Oh, he killed it. Yeah, he killed it, man. Blue is helping. Blue is helping. Happy, happy 50, 59. Jeffrey. Jeffrey's booming, man. Jeffrey's just booming. Not a single castle. What the hell? Yeah, man, Jeffrey with Mayans is fully booming. And that can be huge. Because Miguel will go I mind with, yes, with two castle, blue matches, trebuchet, he will do the damage on, on team. But Jeffrey will go elite eagles, man. No, no, no. Yellow is just booming. Orange is slinging. How you, how you can ask that Orange is slinging when he's pushing completely on blue with Rams, Monks and Mangonels? Oh my god, what game are you watching? They are fighting. The only one that is slinging is red. But this is open. And if they are going there to go and make the damage on red, it can be a disaster. Now Dogao is doing a scale bard in armor. He has 64 villiers. Yes, good boom even under that pressure. But he's trying now to, to make knights. Light caps or what? I don't see yet any military buildings. Maybe he has, but I don't see it. I don't find it. Where is the gal? There you go. Okay. And now what? The mangonel. What's up, alcoholic? You can stay here, man. We have time for you. Blue March is going. And here, an only castle. He's gonna get inside soon because he's not even a stone wall. And that's bad. That's really bad. What is team going to do? Well, he's trying to boom. But I insist, yellow is the key, in my opinion, in this game. Why? Because he's booming big time. Look his resources. He's about to go. He's about to go up to Imperial soon. His resources are huge. He's now starting to stone wall. And Miguel, yes, you can see now team. Starting to be panic. Panic mode. You need to wall more and more. Or will be big troubles. But now they are pushing on, on green. This is the way to go. Now finally Frantic is playing good. You can see the score. Whoa! Killing the villiers here. And if he convert those blue marches. Open formation. They're starting to dance. Now with four monks. He's trying to convert the blue marches. He's going to be able. He's coming with three. With three blue marches and the mangonel as well. He's now converting another. He's killing another one. And another one? No. The micro is real. You can see how Miguel is really low population. He's coming with the trebuchetes. But he will need to wall more. And Jeffrey is going to be there with the Elite Eagles Warriors. Yes, that's the way to go. Dogao is trying to make his tables, but if Jeffrey is sending Eagles 100 HP, nothing to do. He's walling now with the second stone wall. He's gonna make fortified walls, we will see, but I insist this should be now the 2 1. Never know, guys, never know because Miguel is in Imperial. But Miguel has 30 villages. 30 damn villages only. It's true that 
It doesn't matter at all. He's doing the chemistry. He's under a sling. And I will go to Miguel's point of view. At the very limit, man. Two trebuchets only. Now maybe he can send some blue matches, but he's walling. He's still walling more and more. He's looking good, man. He's looking good. China Frantic is now looking good. Miguel with those blue matches, but he's not doing any damage. And I insist. I will go to Jeffrey. Jeffrey is the only one that has been booming completely 100% and for free. For that reason, he has 110 villages and doing more and more Varax. He's gonna make all the average. Look his resources. He needs to make one castle. He doesn't have the castle, but he needs the castle to make El Dorado. 100 HP eagles, and those eagles will do the damage. Definitely will destroy. We will see very soon if it's gonna happen or not. One, two, three, four more barracks. Elite Evil Warriors played mail armor. Okay. And the castle in top of that hill. In top of that hill. Wow. Hand card. Okay. And Miguel is doing elite plume archers. Wow. Okay. Oh, a good shot, man. Doing a good shot there. Team Fletching. Team is also on the way to Impedal with 80 population, but this can be dangerous anyway. Miguel has 31 army. He need to, oh man, oh man, if they wall, if you let them wall, ay ay ay, you are letting them to wall, Stark, and everyone is walling, oh come on, if they wall, this is not gonna work, then for Jeffrey, Dogao is on the way to Imperial, team is on the way to Imperial, yes, but look at those blue matches, team is starting to be in troubles, if nobody's helping team, this is going to be a disaster again for China Frantic, they're wall in desperate mode. The caster here is bullshit. Why? Because he's coming with trebuchetes and plume marchers. The caster will be down fast and unpredictable. And here the eagles are inside. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, come on. He's getting inside in the last damn second. He's gonna go. He's converted and he's open. They are open. He's going with the eagles. He need to go and go inside and kill. Because if they are not killing, this is not gonna be the 2-1. Come on. What is Jeffrey doing? He's gonna let the Stark wall. The Stark is very good with the walling, but this is too much. Oh, oh, oh. You need to kill the damn villages. They are killing and getting inside is the way to go to make the total destruction but here in this side the castle finally defend a bit and know the castle for Miguel who is gonna help here maybe happy happy but those eagles inside is gonna make now the damage he can raid a lot this is 100 HP eagles and plus four armor okay he's now sending all the eagles raiding completely and those eagles can kill those Kongs definitely they can he's gonna be inside very soon the ram is killing killing the market Gonna be an Imperial Dogao, he has 112 villages, which is very good according he was under the big pressure. He's now walling because the blue marches are going. You need to wall in the last second and he did it. He did it. I don't know how much is gonna last long this this gate wall, but bam down. There you go. At least he wall he got it. The Eagles can raid all over and he's raiding completely to VH. So this is looking so damn good. Look at Jeffrey, resources are sick resources this is the 2-1 guys is finally beating the final loser bracket not total domination for one team anymore well he's now raiding and killing to the gal he's walling doing gates but this is china frantic in pure action now raiding completely all over you can see fee it's gonna go down big time and at home miguel too he has no resource he has only 43 villages he was all under the sling here, one castle. So, the blue matches need to move up, up. But really, if he's sending the eagles there, he can also kill those blue marchers. Well, I, I don't know. Because those blue marchers fully upgrade are dangerous, man. Really dangerous. He's coming with more and more. And he has 63 army, man, Miguel. 63 army. Be careful, man. Be really careful. If you don't stop Miguel, he can do a lot of damage with those trebuchet and blue marchers. 
You can see how team is in Imperial, yes, but what he has right now, few Magundais, not even a lead, because he's in trouble. Now he need to raid, but it's true that he can kill even the Toon Center. Yellow has crazy amount of eagles, they are still raiding all over the map, killing Dogal, killing everything. Okay, his score is insane, and Miguel is still going. Ready more and more to Orange. Orange 113 population, but almost no army. Okay, chemistry, fletching, happy happy. What the hell? He's sending 75, 75 blue marchers. Jeffrey's raiding a lot. Ay, 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 what a game, man, what a game, now going to make a castle there, no, 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 please, don't make the castle there, oh my god, he's doing the castle there, he's coming with four trebuchet, and those four traps, well, we will see, we will see, but yellow, if you don't help a bit, green will kill everything, man, now cavaliers, of course, the eagles are still raiding, but blue is getting destroyed, man, look at those eagles, killing all the villagers, it's true that he's killing green at home, he's killing blue, but green is also doing the same. The caster is going to go down, and now... He's gonna send the eagles finally. He's repairing the castle, he needs to go back or he's gonna kill some blue marchers. If Jeffrey don't raid Dogal and Dogal go paladins, you are right, but Dogal don't think so that he is huge economy. Now, he's at the limit, he has 105 population, 114, sorry, but not even houses, he need to stop this, if they stop this, that's it, but you need to stop, first of all, now, the Magundais are coming, elite Magundais fully armored with the rams, okay, this is stabilized now, and they are calling the GG, they call the GG, that was a really nice game this time, even with team with the Mongols, but the strategy now didn't work out, because China, Push completely with orange and purple and Jeffrey free booming. Free booming. This is the 2-1. Now the final loser bracket is, is getting really interesting. Really, really interesting. And we will check now the achievements. Military. 125 units killed the most. 84 largest army. And he was even a slinging man. Jeffrey already was a slinging team. So the boom he did was insanely sick. While the sling from Fitch was almost the same from the start, 64 villages, and really, Jeffrey, with the 33 Imperial that wasn't super, super quick, did the damage. Guys, 2-1, home map for China Frantic now. Ho ho, stay tuned. Super important match, because if Brazil win here, they would be 3-1, man. 3-1. Oh, it's game time. No, I will I will show you later. I will show you later those graphics. Yes, but now 20 seconds. This is a starting. It's Bedouins. No surprises. Spain is Mayans, Chinese and Persians. Two Palin civilizations. Chinese and Mayans that are a Muslim known to see a start. And guys, let's go. This is the fourth game. This is just amazing, amazing stuff going on, hope you enjoy, fourth game, fantastic and beautiful, like 3-4 maps there, and yes, Bedouins, Bedouins, it's happening, we have Team Grey with Persians, Happy Happy, ZL, Mayan Steel, Vivi, Spanish Orange and Jeffrey, Green with Chinese, then Dogal, Persians, VH, Spanish and Stark with Mayans, Miguel, it's with Chinese okay there seems to be a little pause and uh, TC already from Miguel well a huge pond or even lake man with the shorefish man crazy absolutely crazy let's go for the bettings it's still one minute guys one minute and 50 seconds to make the bettings and that's the way to go TC in a good one to take the the fish but he will need what? Okay. Oh man! This is crazy, man! This is crazy! Persians team! Really close! Really damn close to Fiege! To, to Miguel, sorry! I said Fiege because Miguel is with Chinese and Fiege usually take Chinese. Then Jeffrey with China 
good tone center wood and the fish okay this is a pause hopefully they, they keep going vamos amigos don't make big pauses what else that is see from mayans stark mm. it's okay but you prefer to to put a tone center closer to to those shore fish it's, it's complicated well those pauses i think i will have to rejoin Okay, let's keep going. Right now, uh, Stark taking the shore fish, deers, and Vivi. Hmm. Well, he would make a meal probably, but look how Vivi and Stark are so damn close, guys. So damn close. So damn close. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, Fiji is. It's okay that tone center as well, and then yellow, the gal is slow, man. It's low tone center, it's low tone center up, really, which is surprised me. Well, with Persians, well, actually, it's normal. The Spanish, Mayans, and Chinese build faster, yeah. So, Persians in this one they have more resources, but they they build slower than all the others, so it's okay. Yeah, we can see also in the north, Jeffrey, like we said. And really close to happy happy. So Miguel is lonely between three enemies, man. Miguel is in a terrible position, guys. But the same for Vivi, man. Vivi, it's really close to blue. Stark with the Mayans. And then red and yellow. So we have three players from one team in the north. Three players with from one team in the other side of the map in the south. And then one is Nikki, brother. Look at that mill. In my opinion, amazing one, taking the surface for two legs. Look at the building, awesome. And really, so damn close. I'm going to go to Vivi with the Fog of War. He really need to be careful or he will lose the damn village. And almost instantly, almost instantly. Those bettings, how it was? Strong? Really strong? <laughs> we will check. Okay, welcome Jinsha to the to the channel. How you doing man? Have the crazy Spaniel. Well, so happy to see most of the lover boys around. Appreciate it that you join it. And Dogao. Well, let's see. You see how this is not going good. When they pause too much and the five minutes make that the game is going cuckoo. China Miguel, he did the Lambert Camp. I don't like too much how it's working for Miguel. He's gonna make now another mill, but you see so many villages on wood. Well, uh, where is Tim? You can see Tim all on food. Another mill, completely different build order. It's 11 population, Miguel 14, normal, because he's with, uh, with Chinese. Okay. Yeah, another pause. Come on, man. The guy is not the best star, definitely. He's, ah, but he's similar to Tim. Really similar to Tim. Not, not, not super big difference. Four village on wood. I like the spot. I mean. Being close to the main forest is nice. He can really, really protect and boom, 
really strong if he's not getting raided it can be really really good spot for him we will see we will see it's gonna be really important if he can explore properly he don't know that blue is there i don't know if he's gonna notice or but with the main goal and the stone if he's going for fast castle and the other players do not notice and this is really important what is stark is going to do stark knows that he's there he don't know either that he's there so if he can go fast castle and then make the castle here I even mean, if he don't see it but he will it's gonna be it's gonna be huge can be huge they are walling already but orange will be a sneaky boy and in this kind of maps if you have one player annoying annoying like everyone it can be a disaster really a disaster they are already doing some little walls happy happy jeffrey also together team protect him and team knows that he's against against the other player oh my god another lover he can see it man random five million man about to evacuate for a hurricane but had to get that mem sub subscription first less than three less than three less than three well man take care man take care that's the most important man i i wish you best for you and your family be careful and if you have to go to a safe place man definitely man definitely now you can go that you subscribe no man be careful man take care for sure man Okay, I focus now in the game because otherwise it's impossible. And Tim, well, he can see it. He's on the way to Feudal Age, super fast. And is he going? If he's able to delay the Chinese, that can be huge. Can be huge for ch for China, Tim. Now, a lot of villiers. What the hell? The villier fight is start. This is gonna be sick. And be careful, man. Be really careful. It's Spanish. Going there, gonna bring the villiers. And now, what is he doing? He need to send... Oh, man! Oh, man! Be careful. Who is going faster? Well, Vivi is not even up while Stark is up to Feudal Age. He really need to be careful. Now, Vivi is gonna be in trouble. In... No, he's not gonna be in trouble. He is already in trouble. Ay, 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 ay. Be really, really careful. Is he gonna lose some villier? No, he's not. He need to go back. He need to go to to his base and be really in danger well he's gonna go up soon no he's up already sorry what the hell is this he has that food going up something is missing something is missing be careful now he's going by with those villains he really need to be careful we're gonna lose the bill fight is real <laughs> he's gonna send a lot more but now what he want to do is to build a tower with the mayans well this is a total mess up Oh, they are nice, man. One of them was flaring from the for the other for the team, and uh, they are telling to him that's good, man. That's that's really fair play there. Awesome. Now he's going back. He's gonna lose the villager. No, he's not losing. And now he's gonna make a damn tower there. He don't want to let him. He's doing a house, but this is, in my opinion, delaying himself. He's gonna lose a villager. No, he need to micro properly. Going back, this is so many, and Vivi will have one advantage, he's a Spanish. With the Spanish, he's gonna build a tower super fast soon. He need to now fight with the villages, and he's gonna fight, and then he will take time to be in feudal age. He's sending two villages full HP, now gonna lose a village, probably. He's gonna kill a chick, he lost it, and now with the village, he's going back. He's very good in the, this village fight, you need to go away. He's going to lose that village, oh my god, ay 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 he's losing another! Two Vili is down! Be damn careful! He's now going to kill this chick! He didn't lose a single one and now the tower is happening but his resources are damn good! Really good! He's mining a stone in the north and a Stark! Let's go to a Stark! No resources for a Stark in Hatch! Okay, is he going back or not? No! And be careful! He's gonna wall again! He need to, to be careful and notice, but he's lonely! He's gonna lose another villain, the Chinese! He's gonna kill one villain down! And this one, look at this! He didn't notice! He's doing a tower on the stone! Yes! He's doing a tower! He should make a tower! Make the tower there! He deleted it and that's it! Good job! 
Now he has a stone here, so no problem. But Doga on the way to Castellage, Miguel on the way to Castellage super fast. Nobody else going to Castellage? Are you for real? It's crazy, man. It's really crazy. Because in the other side, also towers. Also towers because... No, Miguel is in a perfect position, man. Look at those. One, two towers. And what is team going to do now with Persians? No resources. He has a stone. He did a couple of towers. He need to mine gold and he's not mining gold. And this is double stable and he's on his face. So team gonna be in big troubles. And who's gonna defend him? I don't know, but this is not looking good. Why so many pauses? Good question. I don't know, but so many pauses. The point, I mean, the spot, the most important spot, it's it's here, man. Team, now. Because Miguel, whoa, he managed to go up Castellage super fast. I don't know how he's going to defend. And this seems to be another pause, crazy pause. Oh, come on, guys, these pauses, these pauses. Bibi will drop a castle, but let's go to Bibi point of view. He's gathering good resources, but the problem for Bibi is clear. Is Red going to help? VH. Is VH slinging again? He's a slinging again, man. He's just slinging again to Miguel. That makes sense, man. He's just slinging again. Wow. That's dangerous, but uh, with the sling, he's, he's going to destroy Gray, man. He can't really destroy him. Wow. Why well, so much sling, man? They're using VH only to sling, man. Such a talented player. Just to sling, he's losing more villages. Now team is in a terrible position. In a terrible position. No, Bibi can't take the stone. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. But they are slinging again. Now do the blacksmith. Another tower for Stark. The scouts are going. He's walling. And now we have two players. Teal and green. What is green doing? Chinese Jeffrey. Is he slinging? No. But what is he doing? Oh, he's slinging to the Mayans. Ha! <laughs> now he's slinging. Jeffrey is slinging to the Mayans. So, we have two players slinging. And uh, what is going to be more effective? Purple? Purple? Or... Teal. Usually it's better than Mayans. We will see. We will see. I am on CL. Happy, happy. We'll make a castle soon. But the thing is, Vivi is on the way to Castellage. And being well protected and doing a castle here, blue will be in big problems. Also, we'll be able to raid to red. Then purple need to destroy gray. He can do it because he is... Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well, team, oh well, team. Titanic, man. He didn't palisade, he's losing the villages. Team is, team is basically dead. He has 26 villages. Miguel, 27. But uh, look at his resources, huge. Let's go to team point of view. Team, he's a slinky too? What is he doing, team? Yeah, he's a slinky too. Double sling, guys. Double sling! But VH with one sling, it's almost the same that the other with double sling. That can be so damn dangerous, really dangerous. But Mayans, I insist, is better. Problem is that the situation for Gray, it's so complicated. He's not wall, and he will have to 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 be alive like this. So maybe gonna go siege. I don't know. Anyway, Orange. Please, come on, stop pausing because just look how it's synchronized. So bad, the game. 50%. And Vivi, going to be in Castle. Let's go to Vivi. You say that he wants to go to have a stone. And he definitely don't have a stone. He's doing all towers. He's defending, but he's in Castle Age. He won't have a stone. He's doing the tower. Faster than, than the other, that for sure. Has the fletching. Sorry, go. Stop pausing, man. 
Happy Happy is on the way to Imperial, guys. Happy Happy, it's on the way to Imperial, and he will go Eagles. Oh, but now he's pushing in the other side. Rams, Knights, and the Monks. The good thing is, Dogal is booming, but still, 41 villages is still a long way to go. Here with the towers, he's gonna hit that that. Oh, he palisade. Good, good, good. Really good. Another one. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, those little palisade. Oh, oh, oh. Really good. Really, really good. Now he can't hit that tower. Exactly. Gonna make another? Not in time, I think. Or maybe yes. Who knows? What's happening there? Oh my god. Oh my god. You need to wall. You need to wall. Oh wow. This is looking so damn bad now. Come on, man. Put the village in the TC. He's gonna palisade. Palisade did the spot. Green. Oh, green. Green. My god. The lake. The damn lake. Well, he's still open all over, but he's not walling everything. Anything. This is already the 3 1 in 20 minutes. It seems so, man. This is looking so damn bad. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do something. He's doing now a castle. But man, he's coming with rams. He's coming with monks. And he got nothing. What is happening with Chinese? With the walls, man. Wow. Brazil playing so smart. And really strong and aggressive. Green is going to get defeated. Well, not defeated, but... But close, close to it, man. Close to it, really. 31 villies. He need to move some villies there. Ay, 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 ay. He's trying to kill those rams. Gonna get it? No, man. It's, it's dangerous. No, it's, it's, it's over. It's sadly over so fast because this map is fantastic. But you know, Age of Empires can happen. Anything can happen. Teal gonna be in Imperial. Yes, but what are you going to do now? One, two, and three tone centers and resources for happy happy? Nothing. Well, he got zero, zero military. Vili is Jeffrey 16 with the damaged link. Unbelievable. Look at those villages away from, 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 from keyboard. Damn, he's doing the barrack. He's doing the barrack. Now Stag is on the way to Castellage. What is... Bibi going to do well. Stark is with a lot of towers. Let's go to Vivi point of view. He has no stone. He's not able to make even a castle. No wood, no resources, no nothing. Look at the walls he's doing there. Now Cindy Knights doing some damage. He's going to go Elite Eagles. Yes, Elite Eagles, but Dogal is on the way to Imperial with 74 villages. 74 villages. And he has no resources. No resources, man. Wow. Let's go to Happy Happy. Get some gold. But you never know in these kind of games what they can do. He did another toll center, okay? He rebuilt the TC. Fish is just linked to Miguel. And Miguel has 47 villages. Doing a lot of knights. Not gonna be easy that he can do the damage now. Yellow is completely wall. Dogal, and he's gonna do what? That he has. Anything, he's on the way to Imperial, but Will Barrow, Heavy Plow, Mangonel, I don't think so, he has great resources, but maybe now they, they move this link to, they change this link to, to Dogal, it's possible, yeah, it started to, to sling Dogal, and what is Orange doing? Still doing what? Nothing, to be honest, absolutely nothing. Eagles. Plus one, Elite Eagles, Squires, is gonna make, start to make the damage on Miguel, it's possible that it's gonna happen. So let's see. Wow, Jeffrey's dead, 14 villages, team is feudal age, and Vivian Castle with 39 population. How they can do the damage here, I, I don't know how they can really destroy. It's true that Blue will have nothing, if he's going with Eagles, he could kill all. Yeah, uh, red is just linking and yellow is the one that can do the, the, the damage here with Dogao played part in armor. Ay, 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 man. Ay, ay, ay. The Eagles are coming. Eagles plus two gonna be. Not really strong. Not El Dorado. No nothing. So let's move to Happy Happy. 66 population. Now the raiding is happening. There you go. But Dogao, he booms, man. And those 
Cavaliers plus four should be an O for now. Well, if he's doing 108 speed, then it's different, but ha, he will need a lot. 23 army. Now he's starting to have a lot of army. Okay. If he killed those monks, those knights are plus one, plus one. He need plus four. What? He lost the blast Ay, ay, ay. Well, he's gonna kill the monks. He probably convert one. No, he want to kill the rams. Okay. The rams are going to go down really quick. And now, going for the knights, and the monk is bye-bye. And those eagles are only plus one, guys. For that reason, the eagles are dying, man. You need plus four. And the guy is coming with cavaliers. This is looking so bad, man. This is looking so damn bad. He's even more population than CL. Wow. That's crazy, man. That's really crazy. The advantage seems to be huge. Well, let's see now when the... Yeah, well, Dogao is there with plus four or Cavaliers trying to defend purple. He's little by little cleaning more and more. And what is Orange doing? That he has another TC and VB? Or what is VB doing? Oh man, only one toe center. No more stone for him. Are you kidding me, man? He's also with a, mo with a monastery trying to convert the bill here. Yeah, VB, VB got nothing. Sadly for him, nothing. He's 46 villages, 45 star. He's okay, but Dogal should dominate now. He really should dominate. He's with the Cavaliers doing the damage on team. Team is still in feudal. He's 54 population, Jeffrey 20. Oh man, oh man. What a game, this one. What a disaster execution by, by, by China again. Yeah, like this, but uh, a disaster, man. Really well played by, by Brazil as well. They did a perfect position here with red and yellow. They just team wall. Blue pushed completely on orange. So, I mean, if they are more or less the same score and everything, he keep him busy. And Miguel break into green, destroy him. No more slain with 21 population. And team is incredibly exposed so VH link might be huge in comparison and makes that the gal is doing the paladin upgrade and with this paladin upgrade this is over absolutely yeah absolutely over damn it it's over guys he cannot come back from this they cannot come back from this the population is is huge difference huge difference wow Cavaliers, Paladin, Blasphemous, Fitch is doing the Horse Collar. Thank you for the Lutis. We are going to to Brazil home map, and Brazil home map can be Iceland's man. So with three one and Brazil water map Iceland's because it's gonna be Iceland's uh, almost a hundred percent. Be careful, man. We can get a really fast series. To take the ticket to go to the LAN party in China? Wow. Yeah, man. Crazy. Crazy, guys. Crazy. Okay, Dogao, Paladins, Pikemans, Blasphemous, Stone Mining. One, two, three, Tone Centers. Look at the spot. He has three DCs. It's dark. <laughs> nah, he's, he's killing everything. Now, BB. It's true that Teal can hold because he's walled, so they are not killing him. Now he is killing all this to to Miguel. Okay, that's that's great. But Dogal with Paladins will clean everything. Why also? Because Orange is is completely lonely. I mean, he was in the enemy area. He's 42 villages minus two army. <laughs> you see, minus two in the spec overlay. 20 idle villages, 60 villages, and Dogal 115. It's total domination, guys. Total domination in this one. Now they are walling. In case that the Eagles can do something. And the Eagles can... They are doing the damage on Miguel. But the problem is that Doga will kill all. Will kill everything. You can see how Jeffrey is still 24 population. 24! That's crazy. One Paladin doing the damage, not anymore. Yeah, Brazil B is playing really strong. Really strong. Yeah, Halbardiers by, by Happy Happy. But he has 
95 population while Dogal 172. Nah, it's the spec overlay, it, it might be bad. Yeah, look at the difference with the score. It's not double because double it will be 6,000. Don't be exaggerated, it's 1,700. Well, you know, they they are calling the GG. I mean, they, they want to try because it's crazy important match, but at some point it's, it's just impossible, guys. It's really damn impossible. This is the 3-1 for Brazil B versus China Frantic. 3-1, really. Total domination except the previous game, but this one was such a disappointed game. In 20 minutes it was over, and it was pretty obvious that it was over. Damn, military, you can see Miguel kill everything, everything. Dogal got 62 largest army, but the key was that Miguel got everything, and Jeffrey, 36 villages, man. Team 40, so nothing more to say. Sadly, we are going for the fifth game. Pretty fast, I would say. Pretty, pretty fast. Let's Guys, go. the fifth game. And the fifth game is happening with... With what? With ay ay ay. Yes, man. With Iceland. Dangerous map. Because Brazil B plays so damn strong. Let's go, guys. Well, we are there, guys. We are there in Iceland's map. Which is really strong, and uh, Vivi Hans is facing the Mongols VH. First matchup with the Mongols in a flank, dangerous. All the flank on the left, we have Hans Dogao versus Jeffrey Japanese, but also for China. Pockets are Vikings Wop and the Mongols team. Well, it's interesting, but Pockets is Vikings Miguel, Vikings versus Vikings. And the other pocket is Japanese. Japanese pocket is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's see if the Mongols is going to go aggressive. Because here the idea, since blue is really close to orange, I think team should go extremely aggressive on VH and make the damage and push. The other Mongols is... Where is the other Mongols? F VH? Well, VH is here, sorry. So they should try to double with team. And don't let that VH is doing the damage on PV. Well, we will see. Hans and Mongols, remember. And Pike is in the same spot for both both teams. I don't see any bug map now. If we find out, we will see it soon. But uh, it looks like all, all is running smooth. Host is already in seven minutes, so. And now, uh, Mongols team, uh, it's bringing the board with the scout. Okay. Pushing the deers as well. Remember that the standard in the in these maps is is pretty clear. You can see that they are the village. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, five villages of wood from the flanks, for flanks, and going up as fast as possible. Right? That's that's all right. Pockets. It depends. The Mongols will go fast probably as well, but this one. Japanese? I don't think so. Thank you for the loot list. Yeah, that loot is belong to, to the previous game. Well, 13 population for everyone. So, right now, the only bad thing with, with this map is that in the start it's slow, you know? It's, it's definitely slow. Boar, oh, that Lurian Miguel is a Miguel a Jeffrey. I don't know why I say Miguel. Maybe because Miguel is, is choosing the green color many times, but Lurians needs to be perfect, man. Need to be perfect. Dogo doing the dog. Oh. And more under the TC. There you go. Well, he went forward, as expected. Really forward. With the dog. Yeah, pretty close. So it's two versus one. But the fight can be one versus one. Seems blue probably gonna... Yeah, but with the hands, you can go fast too. Not as fast as Mongols. But I think Vivi is getting a good start. 
He's pushing the deers. What is he doing with that villager? Gonna take the boar? But why he sent that one? He got another. He got the chick. And yeah, that was a little mistake. He could take it with with this one. And drop the ten foot that he got on the fish. Fitch still didn't get those ships. Let's go to Fitch point of view. A black area? No, he can see it, but he's not taking. Wow. Fitch is up, man. Oh my god. Fitch is up. Fitch. Top class. Top class player. 8 minutes 41. Finally not a slinging. But team is up 19 seconds difference with one player more. So it's actually almost the same. This is starting to get so damn intense because they are going to face to each other with the Mongols. Then Vivi, with that dog, he need to go fa go up as fast as possible. Hans, the gal, it's doing the loom. That means he will go up. Let's go fast. Yes, he is going to go up. He has the foot and he is on the way to feudal edge. Then Jeffrey, is he going or not? Hmm. Okay, this is already a little advantage, a little advantage for Brazil. Stag is going up, so he's not going for the fish boom, he's going aggressive. He's going with the Japanese forward dogs, because they want to fight here. They know that they have to fight, because he will get double. Everyone is going. Nobody is going to talk at the back. Interesting. Everyone going forward. Awesome. Really awesome. Jeffrey is slower. 30 seconds with the gal. Two villages more. It's worth it? Well, with that dog on the left? I don't know. I mean, look at the dog. Well, purple is so far from, uh, from his fishing ship. So, to gather galleys together. I don't know if he should go here with the dogs, but they are far located really far located he probably should have gone here and they will be together so let's see because if you check yellow and gray are almost together in the same spot you see what i mean wow now you can see how vh is almost there he's gonna make the damage already in the fishing ship but now he find tim well he find everything and with the fair dog sorry he's gonna start to Take the fishing ship down. Ay, ay, ay. Well, team is there. So he need to go and hit those galleys. He need to go with both. But the advantage is already there. The initiative is already for VH. Taking the fish uh, away. Idle fish. So, delaying the economy. And now, oh, he's doing the same with VH. Awesome. He want to take it down. He's going to take it or not. He took it one down. He moved to the left, moved to the right, moved all over, gonna take it down too. Whoa! Okay, now he's going back. And Vivi, gonna send Kali soon, very soon. He's coming to Stark. So the fight is happening, like we said, really early here. Yellow and gray, going together, Miguel. Jeffrey with the fletching. The advantage is happening, guys. It's happening already. It's still not huge, but it's still they are leading. You can see how Dogao is trying to go and push. He has more galleys. Dogao has already eight military. Jeffrey 26. He's there with four galleys. He really need to be careful. No loom. He's doing a house. He's gonna transport. He's gonna transport already. Hi, yay, yay. He want to transport fast and unpredictable. Jeffrey want to transport. This is the key, man. This is this can be a game change. Well, he has the 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 scout there. So three three villi is going to make the damage. He want to go because they are not really confident in this kind of what or water maps. And water fight against Brazil. They whoop is coming with more and more galleys, but he's there with 
Where's the dog? I miss it. He's going to the edge of the map. He's gonna try to come here and make archers. Probably. Is he doing the Barak, the Obama? He's not doing anything. So he will go only with the villages. Ay, ay, ay. In the middle of the map, we can see Stark with the galleys and also Fiege together. Going to kick out of the game already, everyone. <laughs> we will see. Wop is coming. They need to work together. Team and Wop. Together now gonna be a big fight. Let's see. Fletching? No, only for team. Well, it's tag two. And I want to see this. Remember, guys. At the back, we can see how he's gonna go transport. And be careful with that. A lot of galleys. This is a lot of galleys. You need to go back. Oh, this game is gonna go to the hell. He's there with two villages. And maybe he's gonna go land in the other side too. It looks like this. Wow, the spot is amazing. Really amazing. He's doing the archery range market. Whoa, man. Okay. A lot of villages on, on berries. Jeffrey's doing now the double B tax. Oh, man. Oh, man. He didn't finish the house. Has the plasmid. That he has the fletching or not. Let me go to, to his stone center. He has the fletching, so the arches can't really do the damage. He's landing. Both archie range in the shoreline. But he's really there, man. He's really, really there with 42 population. The advantage is, is clear. Oh my god, Vivi! With a scout and killing a villain. Now he need to go back. Oh man, they are trying to go full aggressive mode. No loom, man! No loom! Attack, man! Attack! No loom! No, man! What the fuck? No loom, he killed two villages already, he could kill even more. He has no loom and he could destroy all those villages with the scout. Vivi, guys, wake up because these guys are not playing today really, really, really damn strong. Look at the outpost and now the archery ranges are going to do the damage. I will focus on the land because it's the only chance in this game to China. We will see. We can see how purple pocket with the Vikings and orange team has good amount of galleys. The others are there with the archers. There you go. Ay, ay, ay. There you go. Look at the tower he's doing. He has archers there. One pillar down. Gonna make the damage. Gonna make the damage. He's going with more archers. He need to just make a tower here. Yes. And with those archers, five. And he's doing what? More palisade. He's gonna kill more villages. Be careful. Be careful, the gal. He's starting now to go away. Just put under the tower. Kill another villager. And... The tower is gonna be there. That he has another goal. Yes, he does. But he's killing. Oh, come on. He killed another two villages. But he's gonna take this one. He really need to break in. He really need to keep the gate. Oh, but he's doing the gate. Ay, ay, ay. I, well, he can transport, he can transport, but he's now transport here as well. But he wall, he wall completely gray, Miguel. Okay, they are trying. Now, Dogal is still 63 population. Who is going to be in Castle Age? Stark, Miguel, Tim and Vivi. Four players in Castle Age. Doing this table, Vivi, gonna send what? Do man, man, the transport is gone. So he made this table at home. Where is Blue? With his uh, snake, nowhere. Wow, this is looking so so dangerous for China, but he's trying to make more and more damage. Dogao is struggling right now. He's gonna kill more villages. He's not micro man. Jeffrey is with archers, but he's not doing a big damage. I mean, he's he's okay, Dogao. He's he's okay now. He's there. Trying to go around, but he has double archery range. No, no, this is not working anymore. This is not working anymore. He should kill more villages, definitely. Jeffrey, 53 population. The good thing is that Dogao, what is Dogao now with the resources? He has no resources. That's the good thing. That he put Dogao a bit with the hands out of the water. Definitely. Doing now a stable. Gonna kill more villages. He's killing villages to Dogao. One down. Another down, and here with the galleys, Miguel is doing the job. Definitely doing the job. Okay, PV is in Castle Age. And what he's planning to do? Cartography, work galley upgrade. Whoop is on the way to Castle Age. He has 26 army. But guys, look at the military. Look at the military for for all 
for all, really, the Brazilians. Way ahead, man, way ahead, 500 score difference. Ay, ay, ay. Well, he's going with a lot of villies, a lot of villies. He's killing one villier. He's gonna kill more villies. He wants to put the villies in the tower. You need to put it. He's doing a really a great job. An amazing job, I would say. He will make another tower. He didn't. And now he's coming with so many villies. One, two, three, four, five villies. A lot of skirmishes. He just wants to put him out of his island. This is Brazil. Total domination. And they are getting closer and closer to be to be in China. Again, in Finland. He's sending the villies, but he's going to take down the transport. Ba -ba -boom, with the villies inside. No, he didn't get it. And now in the last second, the knights and the villies. Oh my God. He's walling because he's sending the knights. It's the last chance from, from China, but VH is walling. No, he's, he's walling. Yes. And this is the last chance for China, really. He was there with the knights to make the damage, but now Fiji is gonna kill the villager. Baba boom, villager. There you go. And the knights. This is. <clears throat> I'm sorry. They came over. I think now they can't do anything anymore. Of course, they are not going to resign, but look at the population. Whoop! With 91 population and Vikings, maybe can do something on water? I don't think so. But this is. Wow, VH did in the last second, did in the last second, let's see if they are going to be able, but Miguel with 28 army and the Vikings is fine, man, Wop 46, 36 has a lot of army, yes, but the others, now they are booming, yes, team is booming now, team is trying to boom to, yeah, to try to come back to water later, but gonna be really complicated don't be so surprised if now brazil brazilians are the one that are landing <coughs> yeah he really wanted in the last second i don't know why geoffrey did that he probably wanted to do something here but he well he's there doing some damage oh whoop is coming okay he want to land again I think he should he should land again to, to make more damage, but but you can see BB population. 51. Jeffrey 43. It's it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible in my opinion. They have they have a huge advantage. A really huge advantage. And Brazil B is is there man taking the lead. A huge lead, I mean. Whoa. Not really. This is a really important advantage here for for Brazil. I don't see how they can do something. China. Wop is is okay. He has 43 galleys. I will go to to Wop point of view. I don't know if they are slinging him. The only chance for him is if, if he could get on in Imperial. You can see how now Dogao is going to be in Castellage. Dogao at least is not on, on water anymore. Oh, he has knights. Okay. He can do some damage with the knights. Those knights, not a single upgrade. Dogao now doing the upgrades. Horse color, gold mining. Okay, team is coming with some more galleys. Okay, they're still going. 105 population, but you can see that they have Miguel and Stark in a really good position with 32 galleys, 34. Wop with 40 galleys, okay. 109, Dogao, Bot, Kinaro, Bozo. In the middle of the map, they, they stabilized. Now, team has good amount of galleys. BB is... Oh, Wop is on the way to Imperial, guys. Wop is on the way to Imperial. Careful, man. Let's go and check Miguel. He's not going up. On the way to Imperial. On water, he can do a lot of damage. 
Definitely he can, but a Stark! It's on the way to Imperial 2, unbelievable! Yeah, man, they manage, they always manage to have someone close to the Chinese. And that dollar, oh, come on, man, look at this. He's there with the galleys, and now they're still doing the damage. The knights are coming, be careful with the crossbows. He killed the villager, he's gonna kill the villager, kill him. Dogao is in some troubles, okay. Yeah, well, he has two tone centers, he's getting now inside, go, 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 he can go, there is not a lot of map for him to defend. Now he's going, if he's sending the galleys to the right side, he really can do the damage, but he has a lot of galleys, oh, Miguel is there, Miguel is on the way to Imperial 2, nah, this is impossible, it's Japanese with knights and crossbows versus the hounds, with the, with the cabbages and the skirmishes, no chances, man, Vivi is on the way to Imperial, 74 population, will be two players each team in Imperial, Vivi and Wop. Hands and Vikings, while in the other side will be Japanese and the Vikings as well. well there are some knights that they are going to are going to die. You can see they are dying really fast. Okay, Vivi is doing a castle. He's doing a castle close to the shoreline. Sending some knights, he's doing the castle with a lot of villages, he's gonna finish the castle, gonna be expensive. That castle gonna be really expensive, you need to make the castle already. He want to go back to water, but this is going to be really damn complicated. This is a massacre, this is a damn massacre, oh my god. To make this castle, Bibi is going to suicide, suicide a lot of villages. Bibi, radio kills 843. Bibi, Bibi. The, the galleys are going out there, it's crossing, so the dock is good. Bibi is doing probably the worst series in the tournament, man. The worst series in the tournament. Yeah, definitely, man. It's not a pawn, it's connected. He can't cross before the, 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 um, the transport was crossing, so it could be able to cross, I don't know. Ballistic, now try to go back to... Yeah, he's doing another, so he's sure that he can. You can see, with pressure, and now gonna be Galleons, but now he's coming with Galleons and he can do the damage, he's trying to go and kill now Miguel, before he's doing the upgrade is possible, Jeffrey is going the way to Imperial, on the way to Imperial with 67, population to go 88, 88, okay. Yeah, well, but the village is not that important, it's true. Miguel 62 galleys, WAP 60 as well. Ay, 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 ay. They are trying and they will keep trying, but the score difference is more and more. But you can see WAP coming with the galleons, fully upgrade, but he's facing Miguel, fully upgrade the galleons as well. Well, he's gonna be even stronger now with the chemistry. Start carrying in. And the stack is coming from behind, so he's gonna be destroyed, and this will be the game, man. This will be definitely the game. You can see, they can cross, man. You are noobs, guys. Noobs! They can't cross. He was crossing before with the transport, man. Okay, look at those. VH on the way to Imperial. Jeffrey on the way to Imperial. Still trying, they still trying till the last second, but the Stark and Miguel together has double double the galleons than China. So I don't know. Dogao is really low population. Uh, is he going to to try to go water? Geoffrey? He's trying. He has they have good amount of villages, man. That's true. If you check all the Chinese, they have good amount of villages. They are warriors, man. They are trying. They want to go back to water no matter what is the cost. Now the score is getting closer, this is crazy, but we have three players in Imperial from China, while team is going to Imperial 2, they will have four in Imperial, well now 
The gallant feet are on the way to Imperial a bit slower. You can see how Miguel is doing gallows. But Wop is there trying to protect those villages because he wants to build more and more galleys as well. And let's see if it's gonna happen. Population for Dogal really low. Really, really low. 75. No army. He lost everything, but he will go back to water, I imagine. Need to go back. He should go back. But he's not going. And Miguel is killing all. Aye, aye, aye. On the right side, Vivi is now trying to join the party. 21 galleys. But Stark and Miguel has huge amount of galleys. Oh my god. Amount of galleons. Because they are galleons already. VH is in Imperial. Gonna be called the damn upgrades. And uh, I don't know what you think, but this is looking bad. It's looking the 4 1. How they could recover? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Cano Galleon, going to Imperial, the Gal, team. Jeffrey doing the Galleon upgrade, finally, but he has 69 population, 69 population, and Dogal 97, with 84 villages, they are so behind all over the map, they have no chances to come back in my opinion, it's crazy how in this incredibly important match, Brazil B is dominating with this difference, man, huge difference will be absolutely well we got those games already mr bullet and was was probably the best series in the tournament so we will have the best two teams playing for the final yeah definitely they deserve both because they have been playing in the tournament haha <laughs> insanely good we have now the galleons from orange team and wop wop yes but the others jeffrey nothing Nothing. He got nothing. Absolutely. Vivi has something. Now, good amount of Galleons here. Yes, he's killing now some Vildis and he's killing. Look at those Trebuchet. He's against three players. Red. No, two players. Red and Teal. He's killing. Whoa, he's killing a lot now to Fiege. What are you doing, Fiege? Damn it. He's killing a lot, really. But he's still losing a lot of Galleons. Really complicated. The Gal Pilot Archer Armor, Chemistry, Two Man Show, and uh, Don't Watch. Well, let's see, man. Well, he's coming with Elite Cannon Galleons, 15 range, so in mind you don't see that so often, but they are going, man, it's 2000 score difference, this is crazy, but Stark again with 100 army, 100 army, he has alone, he has alone more army than all China, say that, nothing can be done, absolutely nothing, he has 100 army, alone more Galleons than all the Chinese together, together, this is just that they are not calling the DG, but Brazil B is taking the win no matter what they say or they do, right? It's impossible. Stark, look at the Galleons he has, also 50 for Miguel, he's just over. I don't know if they will try to land again, I don't think so. Yeah. Also getting the castle, taking those mini islands with extra resources. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. 3,000. 3,000 score more. Double? The double for 7 is, is 9? Wow. I thought that the double for 7 is 14, man. Ay, 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 man. Ay, ay, ay. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> well, it's sad, but the others had better teams, man. Cataparuto. For a start, Kataparuto in Iceland to go with 
with trebuchet and uh, kill the castles. It's increasing more and more, almost double, man. Well, Deadpool LC, that's that's the key, man. That's the key because I have the feeling that it can be the last nation's cat. Hopefully not, but uh, whoa! You know, for for the sponsor, it's also really important that that the Chinese will be in the final, man. Well, actually, they would have been if was top four, like it was supposed to be. Anyway, they keep going. They keep going. And it's going to be what? GG or not? Okay, let's see. They will call the GG or they won't call the GG. Ay, 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 I think it's GG because the advantage is so huge and because we have an asshole in the chat that is called VH. So, if it's GG and they will call the GG, because it's GG, VH, congratulations, come to Team Speak and we talk a bit, Mr. VH. Congratulations, 4-1, sadly was not the great series, because when one team is that superior, so, so ahead, wow, there you go, Brazil v Carayo, <laughs> let's go for achievements. Military, Stark, 104 largest army, crazy, craziest dude going on, 233, and the advantage was so damn huge, even with this rating, he got the most food, Togel, such a boomer, and Fiat, 117, and guys, well, that was the 4-1, Brazil B versus China Frantic, for all those who joined it, and uh, enjoy it, thank you. And also for the people that will watch on YouTube or is watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it, guys. Hope you have enjoyed all the nations, cat. Okay, guys. I think VH is going to be here in... Uh, yeah, I think VH is going to be here in, in seconds. And we will talk with VH. I know VH for really long time ago and I'm, I feel happy for him to be honest we have talked so many times uh, let's see if he's gonna come okay let's see let me change the password the password there uh, okay dokey let's see if he's coming oh what's up uh, What's well, <laughs> do you think do you think VH is happy, guys? Well, VH. <laughs> I'm going to China, man. What the fuck? I can't believe it, man. I'm well, so happy, so happy. Well, I'm happy for you too because maybe, maybe you are going to to enjoy finally in a in a land final. You see how happy oh, it is. <laughs> man, the, oh, it's gonna be so cool, man. Jesus, it's gonna be my first plane uh, to to outside, you know, other country. It's gonna be amazing, man. Oh, but, Jesus Christ. But you have, but VH, I know you too for, for a long time ago. Now you have to behave because in China you, you can go to the jail fast and unpredictable, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, no problem, man. But no problem. If I go to jail there, no problem. I'd be happy. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a happy person. The jail. It, it's in another country, so no problem, no? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. let's talk about the games and then uh, a bit uh, easier than you expected. Uh, yes. Uh, Come on, be honest. Were, you are not, now. You are in, in in China. You can be a hundred percent honest. Let's go. No, but they they are super good. Like uh, all all of them, you know, they are so strong, and we are really scared. But that's the thing. Like we prepared so much for these games. We uh, Finland and and these games and Brazil as well. We prepared a lot. Like every game, we were studying record games, watching our own record games, you know, and creating new strategies. We. I mean, we even launched it against the AI to see if the strategy is going to work or not because we didn't have other teams to practice, you know? I, I wanted to so, ask you, I wanted to ask you about that you are telling. Yeah. When you were going all four only together in Medieval Siege with the password, this is the kind of stuff you were doing? Yes, yes. Every day we went to Medieval Siege, create a host a game, and we would uh, study a record game for, of the adversary, you know, uh, or, or create a new strategy. Like the, yeah, like 
we we watched all of the frantic record games and then we came up okay our team likes to land on island you know so we were prepared about that uh once you we got the water we knew they were gonna land so that's why we we were prepared you know how you were feeling? And I'm so happy, man. I can't believe it. Uh, I oh see. Well, uh, we can all listen to you. How you were feeling when, when you are 3-1 in that Iceland game and you see that the score is 800 the score more, 1,000, then it's 2,000. Uh, I'm sure you were like in the team speak. Well, like you are now here, right? Like, hey, we got it, guys. Come on. How was those moments? Oh, man. Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Like... Uh... It, it it started on Arabia, you know. Everybody was really nervous about that game, but uh, we we went perfectly, and and it start things started to go well. Mm -hmm. Everything we did uh, was okay, was working, and th that's why it it it, uh, it happened, you know. We won because of that. I can't even speak, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I'm told so me. I, you... I, I I just want to thank you uh, all for watching and thank. Uh, my my clanmates, you know, my my teammates, Dogo, Miguel. If they whoever. want to, if they want to come, give the password and they can come here as well. And we talk. I think I think they are celebrating on the team speak, man. But uh, I'm so happy, man. So happy. We're gonna meet them. I never met them on real life, so I'm really? so happy. Well, yes. Brazil, Brazil is big as well, so it's a big country. So you didn't meet them on, in real? Oh my God! No, we're, we're gonna sleep together, all together. Yeah, but, but then bed. I'm telling you something. Hopefully, after this meeting, Brazil B is not gonna break. You know what I mean? Because now maybe you know each other in real, and it's gonna be now <laughs> Brazil C. You know what? <laughs> yeah, might be. But that's okay. the thing, like, uh, this is my last tournament uh, as well, so that's what? why I'm so happy. No, 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 what the fuck, man? You have to join yeah, the, the king of the desert. You're not going to play AOC anymore. No, your, man. Your, your no. wife, I mean, your your girlfriend don't let you, or what happened in VH? Nah, it's it's my last tournament. I can't do it anymore. It's just too much time and effort, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I'm getting old, and uh, I have to... You are, getting old. You, are getting, you are getting old? How old are you? <laughs> I know, I know how old are you, but tell to the viewers, how old are you? I am 26. You are old, and then what I am? I am in the in the grave year with the Undertaker. I'm 40, man. <laughs> what the hell? No, but I know what but you mean. It's, it's different. You, you look 20. You're 40, but you looked you look oh, uh, younger. Man. Right? Oh man! <laughs> Do you remember? You remember when we were talking? It was before Finland, and we were talking. Hey, Fitch, how do you feel about this game? And you were more or less excited, like like today, because you were so motivated. And you yes. told me, hey, man, if you can go there, we will cast together. And I told you, well, for sure. I can tell yeah. now that it happens that uh, I have a space when I cast in, I try to be, you know, I try to be impartial, but I, 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 wa I wanted that you guys win. Now I can say but that it's finished because I know you, you fought so long ago. I don't know. I don't know if I will I go, so. but uh, I'm more motivated now to go, to be honest. I will, I will nice, see what, man, I, nice. what, what I can do. And I will try because it's it's nice to to meet you guys. Brazilians and Spanish together can be dangerous for Chinese people, you know. Yeah, we're going to jail <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, uh, what else? Well, if you want to say something else, well, I know you from four or five years ago when we were casting also with with Kasuni a lot in uh, in remember in Bubble Official back in the days. So yeah, man, I'm happy for you. I always say, and yeah. they know that uh, that I think you are underrated player. I know that it's easier to say now because you are here with me in Team Speak. But like <clears> you <throat> said, to keep the level in this game is need a lot, yeah, right? Man. Yeah, a lot. That uh, that's the thing. Like the the level of the the game is so high. You know, a every little mistake costs you the game. That's why. Uh, I mean, if you look at the games against Finland, uh, we lost because really small mistakes, right? Uh, and that's the thing. Uh, we studied so much for for frantic. Now uh, we didn't we didn't commit the, the same mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, not just not just playing one v one team games, but you also have to do new strategies and and work on your own mistakes. That's really important. But man, I just want to say thank you all for watching. I'm not gonna stop playing, by the way. Uh, I'm just gonna stop playing competitively, VH, like on a high VH. level. I I'm gonna just enjoy with my friends. Yeah, so that, that's not for sure. But how many times? <laughs> how many times have you said that you leave AOC? Yeah, I said too many times. But <laughs> I'm you, this is the last one. Man. I can't do it anymore. Uh, I mean, well, I, I will never quit the, quit the game. I, I probably will keep streaming, playing some fun games. But uh, you know, playing those 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 hard level games, those tournaments, it's I like 
you guys have no ideas. I I think you do because you were fopped uh, years yeah. ago, right? Yeah, yeah. It it's so much pressure, right? Like, you you don't rely on yourself, uh, but also on your friends. You you don't want to do bad because not just because of yourself, but your friends, right? So it's a lot of pressure, a lot of time. Well, but spent. but these but these team games mm, yeah. need a lot more time, also. I mean, true, true. Yeah, it's not the same. For example, a one v one tournament, Arabia, for example, because you, you can analyze the the civilizations and so on. But with a four v four, first today it was more or less a, a fast series, but the series are really long. To make a schedule is complicated. But a one v one tournament, uh, I think you, I will go to China to convince you to play in 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 the king of the desert. <laughs> no. Yeah, man. I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna order a pizza, man. I have to order a pizza. It's, it's been fine. like more than two months. I don't eat pizza. I need to eat pizza. <laughs> Nada, celebrate, man. And people yeah. was asking me one last question. One last question. Yes. I got sure, a sure, question sure. there about the final. Uh, in um, what do you expect about Finland and the strategies? You will analyze again a lot, or the main objective is is. Is there and yeah, you will practice and you will train it. But what you wanted to, it's is well, you got that's it the thing. Yeah, we wanted the main objective was to to go to China, right? That's yeah. what I wanted. But uh, now we just said, Dogon just said, we need to win this, man. We need to practice and win this. And I think we're gonna focus on on, on practicing and and do a good show there, right? Yeah, we're not just gonna have fun. Of course, uh, I want to go there, have fun, drink, uh, eat. You know, <laughs> uh, but but uh, after the games, just, after the games, not exactly, before. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. I just, I just want to have a good, good time there. Hopefully, yeah, if, right. Well, seems, goes, seems right. you want to go and celebrate. Thank you for coming. I wanted to yeah. hear you because I was sure that you were going to be really happy. Give congratulations to to Higel with like this to to Stark yeah, okay. and to the Okay. Congratulations, okay. guys. Okay. See ya, bro. Bye bye. See, see you, mama. Okay, guys. Love you guys. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later, man. See you. Well, guys, this was VH, man. This was VH, and that was for for now. Uh, I will stream probably later. Hopefully, you everyone enjoy.